Destiny's Cabal and Red Legion versus the Banished from Halo. Two literal brute force enemies that will stop at nothing to achieve their goals. Assassins, destroying planets and scavenging lost alien secrets. Today we compare some of the lore behind these two groups and discuss who would win. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. The sources for this video can be found in the description, the lore for both games and both Destiny and Halopedia. The Cabal are a race of warmongering giants who have built an empire on the backbone of their military might. Their society is strictly hierarchical, emphasizing discipline, strength, and the importance of conquest. The Cabal's ranks are filled with soldiers bred for battle, equipped with heavy armor and weapons. Their society is a monarchy at heart, supported by a meritocratic military system where the better the soldier, the higher the rank. On their homeworld of Tor battle, they built up their civilization under various emperors. They acquired alien species in power like the Scions who had telekinetic powers to join their ranks, enslaving them to their cause. The Cabal are known to destroy planets, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. The Cabal were once a unified species there on their home world, but a coup would soon arise, overthrowing Emperor Kallus and reigning in a new period of devastation led by the Red Legion. The Red Legion are a faction among the Cabal that formed thanks to Dominus Gaul, a runt Cabal who would overthrow the Emperor, helping to plan this coup. The Red Legion are some of the most ruthless Cabal warriors. How do we come back from this? You don't. Welcome to a world without light. Do not look at me, creature. You are weak, undisciplined, cowering behind walls. You're not brave. You've merely forgotten the fear of death. Allow me to reacquaint you. Your kind never deserve the power you were given. I am Gaul. And your light is mine. <laughs> Cabal are known for their bulky physique, an average weight of about 800 pounds, and can stand anywhere between 5 and 8 feet tall. Their size can often vary. Empress Keitel, Emperor Callus's daughter, is 14 feet tall, and their lifespan can extend over thousands of years. Their primary objectives include expanding their empire itself after their homeworld was destroyed, escaping that darkness, stealing or counteracting guardian technologies, claiming the light and retaking territory from the hive. The Cabal's history is marked by their relentless expansion across the galaxy, engaging in conflicts like the Red War to subjugate humanity and assert their dominance. Gaul and the Red Legion wanted the light and powers of the Traveler, so they came to Earth. Battle stations! Everyone with me, now!
When they arrived, we would get a taste of some of their super weapons, like the Almighty, which harvests all the materials from a solar system, uses the planet as fuel, and then destroys the nearby sun. They put a giant cage on the Traveler to try and harness its light. The Leviathan starship is so huge it consumes celestial bodies as it travels through space. The Cabal have many ranks, vehicles, and weapons. They have war beast creatures on four legs, those scions, and they can ascend the ranks from legionary, phalanx, incendior, gladiator, centurion, all the way up to colossus. As for vehicles, they have interceptors, tanks, and dropships with their own blasters attached. Unlike the singular species of the Cabal, for the most part beside the Scions, the Banished are a coalition of races led by the Jirolhane, the Brutes, under Atriox's command. This allegiance includes the Sangheili, the Elites, the Megolo, Hunters, Ungoy Grunts, and others, each contributing unique skills and abilities to the group. Their society rejects the religious motivations of their covenant predecessors, focusing instead on strength, survival, and expansion. The Banished were formed around early 2549 during the late years of the Human Covenant War by Atriox and several other disgruntled Covenant members who rebelled against their Covenant masters. They started as raiders, conducting surgical raids against the Covenant and other targets while scavenging for resources and gathering mercenaries to their cause. The Banished grew into a formidable power after the fall of the Covenant, salvaging many of the Empire's former assets and recruiting many new members from former Covenant who wished to continue living as warriors. And so battle by battle, war by war, 39 brothers at a time, Atriox was born. With every victory, his legend and his hatred of the Covenant grew. Eventually, both were impossible to conceal. And they tried to banish him. And everything we know about the Covenant's thousand-year history. Atriox was the first to defy the Covenant and survive. And his defiance inspired others. cutting a swath across the galaxy, growing in strength with each attack, gathering killers and mercenaries to his side. The Covenant had two targets in those years, 
Humanity and Atriox. They almost got us. But Atriox, they never came close. The whole damn Covenant couldn't contain him at the height of their power. Because they have many different species among their ranks, they're known for a variety of things. Stealth, strength, growing in power with each attack, and gathering killers and mercenaries to their side. They hire contractors and assassins. The Banished's rise to power through rebellion against the Covenant showcases their resilience. As a group, they've had enough. These species aren't following the beliefs of others and the orders of others. They will establish their own presence, loot and take what they believe is theirs, and reign supreme in the process. Led by Atriox, a member of the Brutes, this is one of the most notable forces among the Banished. They are characterized by their immense strength, surpassing that of the Sangheili and even Spartan twos, as seen in various cutscenes and as you can imagine, have a preference for brute force over wisdom. From backstory, brutes stand at about 8.5 to over 9 feet. They are large and stocky, likely due to the high gravity of their home planet, and have sharp teeth used as natural weapons. The Banished have a variety of weapons, technology, and vehicles, a significant portion of which have been repurposed or modified from Covenant technology. So think of vehicles of the Covenant, the Banished have that times two. Banished Dreadnoughts, for example, is a testament to their ability to modify and enhance existing designs to suit their needs. They have armor and jump packs, wield shock rifles, customized Covenant weapons, Banished variants of UNSC weapons. They don't have any super weapons they've created comparable to the Almighty from Destiny, but the Halo Rings are right there. Super weapons capable of destroying all sentient life. So let's talk about military might and capabilities of both. The Cabal are known for their heavy artillery. They deploy a variety of troops from the heavily armored Phalanx to the devastating Colossus alongside their fleets of warships. Their technology is advanced, focusing on destruction and occupation. They have possible cloning facilities like Emperor Callus did, and Scions create their own mind realms. The Banished, boasting a mix of hijacked and custom-engineered weaponry, excel in guerrilla tactics. Their arsenal includes modified Covenant vehicles, plasma weaponry, and unique creations like the Blisterback and the Scarab, tailored to their multifaceted approach to warfare. Now the whole point of this video is for fun, for you to discuss in the comments who you think would win in different scenarios. Let's talk about some hypothetical battle situations. In a direct siege, the Cabal's brute force and heavy defenses would likely give them an initial advantage. Their ability to deploy rapidly and fortify positions could challenge the Banished's more flexible and dynamic strategies. However, the Banished's adaptability and unconventional tactics could exploit the Cabal's reliance on traditional warfare, potentially outmaneuvering them in prolonged engagements. Cabal are big and lunky, they move around kind of slowly, compared to the brutes that I'm sure would zip circles around them and probably be able to sneak up in certain situations. In space, the Cabal's fleet is designed for dominance, capable of blockading planets and engaging in ship-to-ship -ship battles. The Banished, while possessing fewer resources in space, could leverage their ingenuity and stolen technology to create unexpected challenges for the Cabal, focusing on hit-and-run attacks and sabotage. On the ground, the diverse units of the Banished could counter the uniform might of the Cabal, utilizing the unique abilities of their varied species, from stealth and precision of the Sangheili to the raw power of the Megolo. The Banished could engage the Cabal on multiple fronts, disrupting their formations and strategies. But then again, it, the question is, are they using super weapons or not? Because if that's the case, the Cabal can destroy entire planets, either consume it with their Leviathan starship, or blow up entire systems. There's all these hypothetical situations. Would Gaul have the power of the light when he fights characters? Or is he just this normal cabal of sorts with just his weapons and hand-to-hand -hand combat? Is he using abilities? Is Atriox using abilities? And so on. I would, listen, you're in incredible danger. Oh no. What was that? It's him. 
coming with us. That would be a pretty crazy battle though, Atriox versus Dominus Gaul. Determining a victor between these two depends on several factors, including battleground, the extent of their forces' involvement, and whether the engagement is a personal duel or full-scale conflict. In strategic large-scale conflict, Atriox's experience in guerrilla warfare and leading a multi-species coalition might give him an edge in adapting to Gaul's tactics and leveraging the Banished's diverse capabilities. In direct combat scenarios, Gaul's utilization of the light could potentially give him a significant advantage due to the supernatural aspects of the powers he's literally using magic. But Gaul only had the power of the light for a short time. And in combat, Atriox's combat prowess, tactical mind, and ability to exploit weaknesses could level the playing field. He literally crushed helmets of Spartans. I'm sure he could do some damage on Gaul himself. My name is Atriox, Gaul, and I am the last ice. A battle between the Cabal and the Banished would be a spectacle of military might and strategic prowess. The Cabal's disciplined legions and overwhelming firepower would clash with the Banished's cunning, versatility, and resourcefulness. The outcome would hinge on terrain, the scale of the engagement, and the ability of each side to adapt to the evolving battlefield. Ultimately, this hypothetical conflict showcases the depth and complexity of these two powerful factions each capable of dominating their universe. So as always, these videos are for fun, and it's hard to make a decision when all these different factors are involved, like magical powers, super weapons, would they be used like the Halo Ring or the Almighty, or is it just hand-to-hand -hand combat on a battlefield? With that being said though, who do you think would win in certain situations against these two species? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you'd like to see some more Halo and Destiny lore mysteries just like this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. I thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.